Hello there, Rhino Horn 125, and today, back here with another review of the Legends series, X-Men Marvel's Colossus. Really wanted this figure, I've been wanting to try to, you know, get my X-Men collection going on. I mean, I got, almost pretty much got all the Avengers I want, uh, you know, still a few more, uh, an idiot. But, and you know, I'm kind of starting noticing that I'm getting my Defenders, and definitely X-Men, which is my favorite team of all, um, in, you know, Marvel. I mean, yeah, I like, uh, my favorite superheroes are Wol Captain America, Wolverine, and Hulk. Uh, not really in that order, because I like Hulk and Wolverine, not Hulk, sorry. Captain America and Wolverine, the same exact, I can't choose between them. But if I had to go with a team, X-Men is definitely the team. So I... Very getting successful about getting all the X-Men so far um, in, I don't, I'm going to say it was this series, it was more the uh, the series with the Wolverine, this Wolverine here, but anyway, uh, enough talk about that, let's get to the review, and first, as always, is the package, so a uh, pretty standard package, uh, this is probably one of my favorite packages, with the uh, black and yellow, that's a, two colors go very good with each other. Legend series, X Men X on the top, and Marvel X Men. You can you guys can read, uh, but nice picture of Colossus. Uh, looks like he's lifting something up there. Um, same picture on the other side and on the back. Nice picture of him. And up here, a, uh, Colossus transforms his body into armored steel to become a nearly indestructible force of combat. And then here's all the other ones. I don't, I don't know who that is, but I have all these. Uh, I have the Wolverine here, the old man Logan, and of the rest of them, I really want that Cyclops. But other than that, I, I don't really, mm, I don't really care too much for the other ones. But I mean, I, I would get them, you know, if I saw them somewhere, especially because I know who that is. So, but I especially next want the Cyclops. Um, of all, and I, I actually, uh, I had an Amazon gift card, and that's how I got this, got that for my birthday, and I chose to get this, and I was choosing between Cyclops and Colossus, and I was thinking, because they're both $19, I was thinking, you know, I was choosing, I was like, which one do I think is going to go up in price, and then I was like, ah, never mind about that, um, you know, so I just got which one I like better, and I like Colossus more than I like Cyclops, so that's what I went with, but... Anyway, nice view of the figure, very nice packaging. Um, I don't keep these packages, but, uh, so, and once again, no idea who this is, but let's get him open. Alright, so here he is out of the package. Uh, I did figure out this guy's name, it's Warlock. Um, I've never seen him before that I can think of. Maybe I have seen him on front of a comic, but I don't really know. But this thing's got pretty nice detail, uh. As you can see, so you guys who know who this is, it, it looks nice. I'm probably going to have to look up who this is. Uh, it also comes with a, another hand. So I'm assuming this guy has multiple different hands. I don't really know. I haven't really looked at uh, the other parts that comes from him. Uh, here's Colossus's other head. Looks very nice. Nice and shiny. Um, if I can get this to focus so uh yeah so I think it looks pretty nice I mean the hair on this works with it being shiny on Colossus uh, he's got a beard so um I don't really know why he has a beard maybe he, it's an older version of him kinda like old man Logan you know he's got a beard but you know I don't, I don't really know but I do like it I like the way it looks I like the eyes looks pretty much the same as that one just beard and different hair so let's take a look at Colossus, it's articulation, so pretty standard articulation, shovels all the way back on the arm, other arm goes up that much, goes down that much, shovels up at the bicep, uh, not much of a bend at the elbow, but enough, I think, uh, doesn't bend that much forward at the wrist because of the wrist guard thing, um, and it can swivel all the way around, it's much easier. On this hand, it's the same, but he can actually bend more right there, which is actually nice. 
Um, but you can't really swivel around because of the thumb getting in the way. Uh, he's got an ab crunch and he can bend back. Um, he can look down uh, quite a ways. He can look up quite a ways. Head can fully rotate. His head can pop off, of course. Put that on. Swivel at the waist. Go forward. Back, in, and out at the leg. Swivel up at the thigh. Double jointed at the knee. Pretty sure that's double jointed. Feels double jointed. Um, have a, has a swivel halfway up the boot. Has a nice ankle pivot. Goes pretty far down at the foot. And goes up quite a ways as well. So that is pretty much the articulation. Pretty standard articulation. And before I get to the detail on the figure, um, I'll real quickly show taking off the head. Let me just show how this looks. I'll have to put it over here. Putting the head on for the first time. Okay, there we go. And I actually think that looks pretty nice. Pretty intense, Russian-like. I don't always drink beer, but when I do... I, I, I don't know. I don't really know if Colossus drinks beer. I don't think he does. But let's do size comparison. Alright, so here he is next to the Marvel Legends Toy Biz Series 6. I don't I don't think it's Series 6. Um, but here he is compared. I think that's pretty good size. Uh... A lot of people, I bet, are probably wanting a beast to come in this series. Um, but, I mean, if they don't do that, I guess there's a good reason. This was pretty, this was like the top of the food chain, and it is always going to be. Nothing's ever going to top it. Articulation is great, and it's just everything about it is just perfect. It is the nut beast that you want to get your hands on. Even if they do make one for these, I will most likely get it. Um, it depending on the build of figure, I guess, but. You know, this one is just on the top. Here he is next to the Wolverine and Deadpool. Very good size because they are meant for the same uh, figure. So, um, I, I actually noticed that this body sculpt isn't really taken off anything that I can find. I mean, like, not just the boots, but, like, the actual, like, body. Like, the arms and, like, the chest and the legs and... It's its own thing. It got its own design, just like this Wolverine here. Um, and the Deadpool. Yeah, the Deadpool's got his, pretty much his own body type that they did, which I really do love. And here he is next to a 7-inch figure, uh, Ash, um, NECA. But he is good size for NECA, but then when you compare, like, Deadpool, the proportions are different, I feel. Eh, a little bit. They're a little bit different on these two. Um, but you can't really put Marvel Select with NECA unless it's like a taller figure like Hulk or Abomination or The Thing or Colossus. Um, but I guess he fits, I mean, if you wanted to, but this is mainly for pictures is why I compare this, um, these, and it also depends on what figure you have. So, yeah, I guess he's pretty good size compared to him. Alright, so now for detail, uh, and before I get to detail, I do want to explain, if you watched my last review on the Planet Hulk 6-inch Hulk action figure, um, if you notice at the end, it seems like I'm getting ready to say something. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, it's fine, but, and then you have no idea what I'm talking about. And it just kind of cuts out, there's only a few more seconds left, but it cut out the part that when I said like, comment, and subscribe, and all that stuff. Um, for some reason, um, and I actually think what the reason is, is at the end I tried to add a scene from the Planet Hulk cartoon, and I guess it wasn't having that. I don't know, maybe the video was too long, but I put longer videos in, than 22, so originally it was 22. But I just want to explain that if you guys saw that video. If not, then you have no idea what I'm talking about, it doesn't matter. But, anyway, to detail, uh, once again, this head sculpt is very shiny, and once, also, uh, you know, on this one as well, the hair works being shiny, because he is shiny. Um, the arms look good, and I did notice that the, the head is a little shinier than the arms. The arms seem more dirty. In fact, I kind of wish that the arms were the same as the head, because on the cable that I have, um, I could actually show you guys, but I actually kind of painted over it. Uh, cause on the cable, it was about this color. Um, somewhat on his arm and I actually darkened it with some paint wash to make it more this color and now this one seems like it came the color that I wanted the cable so that's kind of a shame it's about the only complaint I have on this figure 
But anyway, uh, this gauntlet things look good, or wrist guards, whatever you want to call them. I guess it's not a gauntlet because it doesn't have a glove, but, um, so those look nice. I like the lines on that. Nice symbol there. You can see all the depth and the muscles and such. Um, the boots look really nice. I, I love the coloration. I really do love this suit on this. I don't know if this is from a comic or the, or Hasbro just came up with it as they're kind of going along. They're like, what should a suit look like? And they chose this. They did, if so, um, if not, then I really need to find a picture of Colossus in this suit, because I really do like this suit. Um, and if you guys know, put it down in the comments below if you want. So, but, yeah, so, pretty straightforward. I mean, there's detail, but it's not like all, like, intense realisticness, like on NECA and some other figures, but it's just, you know, Hasbro. Hasbro Marvel Legends. And I really do like this figure a lot. I do recommend it. For whatever reason you get it, it's a very nice figure. Um, you could get this one or the Marvel Select, which the Marvel Select I think is a little taller than this one. And I think he's this one's pretty tall enough, but if you want it more compared to how tall he is in the Deadpool movie, um, then I'd Marvel. If you can't get your hands on this one, which right now on Amazon it's $19, so I'd get right on it, go after it. And Big Bad Toy Store, I think it is the same. I, I don't know. I didn't really look on out on there. But if you want a Colossus cheaper, cheaper than 19 even, and taller, even taller than Marvel Select is the one to go. But in no way is a Marvel Select figure better than a uh, Hasbro figure, depending on the figure. They just don't have the articulation that these do. So I give this figure a 10. Uh, I go 5 to 10, and he gets a 10. Really nice figure. Um, and that's pretty much all for the review. I will have more coming soon. Um, I have two more figures coming in the mail soon, and those will be my last two reviews um, for the time being that I know of. So, And then after that, I'll be doing some costume videos and whatever else. So... Uh, stay tuned for that, and like, comment, and subscribe, and bye.